Uh, good day to everyone. The topic that I'd like to share is about the manual radar plotting. We have to plot in the maneuvering board in order to get the DRML or the direction of the relative motion line, the relative speed, the CPA or the closest point of approach, TCPA or the time closest point of approach, the true course and the true course speed. Okay, in this case, our ship, ship's course is 0, 0, 0 degrees with a speed of 12 knots. Unobserved bearing and range of the target at uh, 0, 4, 1, 0 hours. The first bearing is 0, 3, 5 degrees. with a distance of 11.1 .1 miles. So now we are going to plot our uh, course which is 0, 0, 0 degrees or heading north. So our uh, first bearing is 035 degrees 11.1 .1 miles so 035 so it's here 035 uh, 11.1 mile So it's here, 11.1 .1 mile. So this is your first bearing. And this will be your R. So first bearing will be your R. Then the next bearing is 0, 3, 1 degrees, 9.2 miles. 0, 3, 1 degrees. And uh, 9.2 9 miles. By the way, guys, we are using the 2 is to 1 scale. So, 9.2 miles. So it's here 9.2 miles. So the second target, this will be your M. By the way, on the first uh, target, the time is 0410, and the second. Uh, Bearing is uh, time zero four one six. And now we are going to get the third bearing, which is zero two five degrees, with a distance of seven point three miles. Okay, zero two five. Zero two five. Distance of 7.3 miles. Okay. So this will be your third bearing. The time of 0, 4, 2, 2. 
So after you you plot the three observed the target bearings and range, you have to connect from the first bearing which is uh, R to the last bearing and range. Okay, so we have to connect now from R M then the third bearing. So this line is so called the R M L. So now we have to bring the RML to the center in order to get the direction of uh, relative motion line. Okay, let's bring it to the center. Okay. So we have now the DRML two three four degrees. So we have now the DRML two three four degrees. Two three four degrees. So now we are going to get the relative speed. of the relative motion line so relative uh, speed equals to distance over the time so in order to get the distance of the re relative speed you have to get the distance from r to m so we are now going to get the distance from the R to M. So the distance from R to M is 2.1. So we have now the distance from the R and M is 2.1. Two point one. Then the time, the interval of time from uh, zero four one zero to zero four one six is six minutes. So interval of time of is six minutes divided by sixty. So the time is zero point one. So time zero point one. So, 2.1 divided by 0 0.1 is 21 knots. So, we have now the relative speed of 21 knots. Okay. 21 knots. And now, we're going to get the CPA. Okay, from the relative motion line, the 90 degrees to the original uh, position of the your vessel, then that will be your CPA.